Hi, I'm KV, and this is the Moon Phase Report for the New Moon on March 11, 2013. First off, you guys have every reason to be really stoked and really happy and really proud of who you are. You know, so much of your life, Pisces have always kind of hid who they really are. Um, they haven't been expressed as vulnerable. There are vulnerable sides that... Um, that's the true part of their nature. They've been more like, you know, that's why that's the sign that is that rules alcoholism and drug abuse because it's always been so much easier to escape through those things than be criticized for who they are by the general public. And now we're in this position where half the planets are in the sign of Pisces. Um, some of them are even more long term, so they're really going to sit there for a while, like Chiron and Neptune. And they're really about, one, those energies are saturating the planet. So there's much more of a mm, open-hearted, compassionate feeling sense that is birthing in all human beings. I mean, the, the toughest of the brutest people out there are crying and feeling sensitive about things and it's confusing to them and one thing I tell all Pisces and Aquarians is that you guys are the way showers and you really need to own and honor this fact because everyone out there is going crazy and looking for someone to be a guide and show them the correct way of who they should be and how they should feel about things because this old way is all falling apart and the old way was built on rape and manipulation and a hierarchy power trip of a couple people in power over over the masses who actually have more power if they came together in numbers but they don't and each one of them plays a victim and goes yes master yes master and you know huh -uh, that's just that's coming to an end and you guys are when you're expressing in your highest way which is very poetic and creative and loving and soft and vulnerable it should be easy for you to say how hurt your feeling or how sad something makes you feel or you know openly expressing your wounds from childhood and not keeping them buried so that they fester into something that actually ends up making you sick but sharing things and being honest and open and we need you to be those things um we need you to be as fairy tale sweet you know even if somebody wants to criticize you, ultimately what needs to be happening is you need to gain confidence in yourself that it's okay to be you. And the whole new moon energies right now are focusing on that, instilling this wisdom in you that it's okay to be you and it's perfect to be you. And I don't care if 10,000 people dispute you and say you're a fool and, f you're a fool and full of it. <laughs> Don't buy into it. Don't believe them. You have to um, kind of start putting up your shields because you for sure are most likely an empath um, in that you take on everyone's emotions, you take on what they're feeling, you step into their aura and um, suddenly you'll like know something's wrong, you know, or know they're mad. No matter what they're showing on their exterior, you're always feeling what's really going on. and. I'm kind of bouncing around here, but that's one thing that's going on with so many people right now, and that's why they're so <laughs> kind of scattered and feeling a bit unstable, because they're not so used to feeling what everyone's going through. You know, most people kind of have these walls and these shields, and they can step in front of someone who just was beaten and is devastated and they still won't even pick up on it. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you know, whereas like Pisces is always going to be like, what's going on? Oh my gosh, what's wrong? And one of the things too, being Pisces when you're younger, it's usually kind of hard because you don't understand. I mean, it's getting better now because we can talk about things about boundaries and empaths and you know, you have the internet, you have enough older Pisces coming to you and going, hey, this is what that's all about. So, um, um, but when you're younger, a lot of times you're just feeling everything and you don't understand that it's actually just someone else and then you're taking it on as your own and then this kind of leads to that victim mentality. Um, so as you get older, 
and even you know probably most of the youth now gets this but it's like when you're alone that's who you really are and that is always to be your barometer so that when you do go out into nature or into um, that's the only place I go out is into nature <laughs> that's why I said that I leave my house to go out into nature I rarely go out into civilization <laughs> but I've earned that right but anyway so um, um, when you go out, you know, that's when you'll like pick up on things. You can pick up on what they're feeling, what they're going through, what's on their mind, and you start to learn that no matter what you see on the exterior, this is the truth, and you are picking this up for a reason, and you also just don't need to take it on as your own. You know, it's not you. And as you get older, you learn to not take it on. And it was funny because recently several people have asked me about how I and which is interesting but they've asked how I deal with you know even what I do which is kind of working with people through their wounds you know and I was just kinda like dude I've seen everything I've experienced everything and because of that now I can come in as a support instead of um, too much of a sympathizer like there is the element of needing to sympathize but it's not to go down to that level and to encourage any kind of victim mentality because I believe we can rise above anything and that's kind of what our soul path is about you know going from night to day Phoenix rising out of the ashes that's my favorite thing and kind of my whole purpose is to empower people to rise out of those ashes, become even better than they ever were, and find the path of their purpose. So that then every day they can be like, oh my gosh, I love my life. And no matter what happened before, not looking back and going, but that happened. Because the moment you do that, which I spent plenty of time doing that, trust me, it just brings you down to this like I'm a victim I'm a victim and it's like fuck that we're not victims or we don't have to be we can choose to be and I think there is an allowed time to be that but at some point you do rise above and you're like you know I had nothing to do with this and this was them and not me and um and you kinda work to clear it out but my gosh let's get back to <laughs> oh goodness Woo! new moon so you're going to mostly be wanting to focus on the new moon energies to really dream about being completely authentic to who you are. Like the whole purpose right now is for you to find the confidence and be like, this is me, take it or leave it, you know, and to not be so conditioned, which you can normally be, by what other people think of you, you know, and if anything, just keep coming back to this or just keep hanging out on my site and <laughs> let me empower you to the heights because you don't need to buy into anything else that is just their conditioning, their story, what people told them, you know? I'm really a really big advocate on only surrounding yourself that with people that support and empower you. And if they bring you down, let them go. If they make you question who you are, let them go. You don't need them. I don't believe we have to have these ties with anybody who tries to make you feel less than or tries to make you question what you're doing or through their own jealousy that they're not doing it or whatever you know there's just unless they make you feel awesome don't spend time with them this is a golden rule now you know um, so really you're going to be wanting to focus on um, just kind of we're still definitely in the dream stage, so keep dreaming. You know, this is really the time to set your intentions. Just visualize it. Do what Pisces are most well known for. and Stare out that window and just kind of see yourself in these situations you would like to see happen. Like, this is a rule, or this is an order, I'm telling you now. This is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to daydream now. And as far as you want to go, if you want to work on this book, if you want to work on these ebooks, if you want to work on this new creative project, if you want to, whatever you want to be doing, see yourself doing it now. Don't buy into any of the other requirements of life and that are that this is permanent or that something amazing is not going to happen in two more corners that you walk around. You know, so you really just need to like, what do I really want to be doing? What kind of impact would I like to make on the world? You know, because you are one of the leaders 
that we are looking to. So you and Aquarius especially need to leap off a cliff into your creative dreams. You need to do this. You need to trust yourself enough and your gifts. Um, what I kind of say is like putting it out there like, you know, what shifted everything in my business was that I said, I know I have these gifts. Use me. You know, bring me the opportunity to use them. And the moment I said that, I got so slammed with birth chart book orders and with readings and like now I can't even keep up. I mean, now I'm like, oh my gosh, but this is what I asked for and it was just me saying, I have these gifts, you know, enough of this like comparing yourself with everybody else thinking, you know, they're so much better, they're already doing it. You know, that's a really classic Pisces thing is losing your faith like that. I can't really do this, you know, and like I was doing that for over a decade, you know, so I finally just stated it and my whole life changed. I mean, like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't even believe this. It's really pretty amazing, but it was really just putting it out there and not letting anything sway me from this path and only surrounding myself too with only people who are doing the same thing. You know, all my friends work from home doing their creative gifts, all of them, you know? And it's like being around them enough, I was like, hey, I can do this too. <laughs> so you're going to want to be doing that right now. This is what you want to do on the March 11th. Set those kind of intentions. Set yourself, make some mission statements of living that. Like, I am living my soul's purpose. Like, um, I wrote something down. I love being me. Um, I am who I am. And that's okay, you know. Um, I am true to myself, you know, just really kind of put these really strong statements of this is me, <laughs> this is me, and I love it, and there's nothing wrong with that, and it's okay to be silly and fairy tale and dreamy and, mm, you know, <laughs> it's who you are, own it. So, um, the day after the new moon, we have Mars moving into Pisces. I mean, moving, leaving Pisces, moving into Aries. And this is really exciting because this is going to be like the engine that really pulls all those dreams you're wanting to be doing right now. And it's what's so cool, it's so perfect for you, is it's moving into your house of money. So you're going to be generating more money. Um, it's going to be moving into your house of using your hands. So you should definitely be more focused on what you can do in your life that requires you to use your hands and bring in more value to your life and hopefully something that also brings value to others. Um, you may be doing something like wanting to beautify your life. Uh, because all these planets are in Pisces right now, definitely your image is going to be needing to get an upgrade. And this can either be um, through you becoming more confident and owning who you are um, as an example, even with me, because I'm Pisces too, like y'all, um, I, uh, am just now starting this video blogging, which I totally prefer to stay behind the scenes and not be up on stage. Oh, gosh, no. I have none of that Leo in me. Even though my south node's Leo, which is kind of odd, but yeah, everything up on stage and, like, blush and... <laughs> <laughs> but I do know too that this is a part of my path you know so many things we are really supposed to do we have a fear of there's like a reason we're so like no because honestly too when I do start this I love it I love like da -da 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 -da. but it does take a big push to get me to just do it I don't do it naturally I'm not like hey everybody <laughs> Uh, although I kind of, I think when I was younger, I was much more that way. Now that I think about it, I was actually very much that way. But I didn't have the energy or the confidence to really back it. I just knew I loved to get a lot of attention. And usually sexual attention. <laughs> That's where I was like, every dance club, I was at the highest place you could dance. Now I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so shy. I've totally gotten 180 on that one. I don't know what happened. But, um, which is cool, you know, maybe it'll come back, maybe it won't. But, um, so by me doing this video thing, this is an example of upgrading um, your appearance in the sense of how other people see you. So doing something, even like if you don't have a blog yet, maybe you will put a blog out. Um, 
if you don't, if you haven't put yourself out there, you're just going to start putting yourself out there a higher level than you were. You're going to be going a little bit out of your comfort zone to put yourself a little more out there. And like this is my step up <laughs> through this. Um, which I've always had visions of me like teaching these large groups and being up on stage so it is kind of fun that I'm finally now like taking another step out of the comfort of my private world writings and staying hidden so this is going to be something for you too let's see is there anything else um I think that's it. I think that's enough for you to run with. Um, I'll be back in two weeks to talk about the full moon. At that point, um, we're going to have three more planets. Sun, Venus, Mars are all going to be uh, in Aries at that point. Uh, and that's a lot of action. <laughs> That's like major action, and it's going to come together with Uranus, and I think the sun will be conjunct Uranus, so the full moon is going to be massive, exciting, and like, woohoo! So, like, really use your dreaming right now. See yourself doing whatever you want to do. No limits. No limits are allowed whatsoever. Not for you. Not for Aries, and not for Aquarius particularly, because we are looking to you. The masses are looking to you to see how you're handling this. Um, so, you know, you're going to have the ups, the downs, the total faith, the lack of faith, and just always kind of look at it as you are being tested. You know, I have the same things. I've kind of like they're going away because I fought them, or not fought them, but worked through them so much. But when it, you do get to the low, just know you're going to shift back into the high, and you just got to keep the faith. No, I'm doing something unique. I'm doing something that's good. I'm doing something that gives back. I'm doing something that will benefit others. And if you can just keep in that mindset, you'll move through the lows and be back at, yeah, here we go, you know. So especially with the um, next full moon, this will be really exciting. So um, I'll see you in two weeks. And you just go out there and dream right now. It's all you need to do. Go out in that hammock and just see yourself living the life that you deserve. Okay, thanks. Have a beautiful day. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Hope it